Hello there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to Archie Jeff Talks, episode 129. I'm your host, Dr. Sheep, joined by co-host Anonymous Phil. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's roll the intro here. Well, uh, I gotta say, th those crab legs are pretty good. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't... I wouldn't say it's my favorite meat, crab. It didn't... Maybe, maybe it just didn't have as much flavor as I thought it might. But you're absolutely correct when you said it has a very, uh, different flavor than, like, anything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Like, it's fish, but, like... It's its own thing. Yeah, it's its own thing. That's for sure. And honestly, I didn't think the butter really added much. I think just putting the lemon on it was good enough. The lemon really mm -hmm. brought out the flavor, surprisingly. Did it? Yeah. Because, like, the first bite I had, I was like, I didn't get a big enough bite. So I took a big second bite, and it was, like, bitter. And I'm like, what the hell? Took another bite, because I was like, ah, power through it, whatever. We'll just t t see what the next one is. And I'm like, oh, okay, that one did have the bitterness to it, but I'm like, Hmm. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's just like, it's not as much flavor there as I kind of wanted. And then your dad was yeah. like, put the lemon on it. And I'm like, okay. And then I was like, oh, that's much better. Mm -hmm. And your mom was like, try the butter. And I tried the butter. And I'm like, hmm. I kept doing it to see if I could taste well, it. There's something but... about lemon pepper and seafood that I really like. Hmm. Like, I have this lemon pepper seasoning that I put on salmon. It's really good. Well, yeah, I've put it on chicken. Don't put it on chicken. <laughs> oh, you put it on chicken? It's not good. <laughs> it makes it, like, sour. Yeah. Uh, lemon, lemon pepper seasoning. Seafood. I think it goes pretty good. And I wonder why. Maybe seafood's, like, basic, and so this, like, tries to, like... It, maybe seafood's more alkaline, and this tries to make it more... Tries to make it more neutral. Mm, maybe. Could be. But I mean, you know, salmon isn't exactly because salmon's a f fresh and salt. I'm pretty sure they catch it all in salt, so it doesn't. There's no really real comparison we can make there. But I mean, that's what you normally put it on. Of course, salmon has its own very distinct, very different flavor from a anything. Fish, yeah. Yeah, so, kind of, you know, cod is the least fishy flavor, least flavorful fish there is, and then I would say, uh, well, I'd say pollock, uh, pollock, bullhead, catfish, they all kind of taste the same. I feel like I've had another type of fish before. I've had like one or two bites of it my dad gave me, but I don't remember... I couldn't remember what it was. I'd have to sit there at the menu. It was this weird looking the fish was giant. I'd have to look at the uh I'd have to look at I'd have to look at a menu. Be like, oh yeah, that's the fish I've had. Then there's shrimp. And you know, I still need to try lobster. Does lobster taste like crab or is it or have you never had lobster or what? I've had lobster mac and cheese. Oh. I've never had, like, this lobster on its own. We need to buy it a lobster. Like they, they had, like, this meal thing at Hy-Vee one time. Mm. It was, like, it was lobster mac and cheese. It was good. Really good. You know what we should do? <laughs> For we our... also had alligator nachos. That, I've heard alligator kind of tastes like a fishy chicken. It, it does have a, I think, if I remember right, it does have a chickeny taste. Yeah. But it was good. I liked it. Mm. Or maybe it's that, no, frog tastes just like fish. But alligator, if I'm not mistaken, tastes kind of... Like chicken, if I remember right, I think, it, yeah. But, no, what we, we should do, <laughs> if we ever get like a, we're able to like, camp but like more like we go on a stargazing trip but we're able to like camp 
you know, instead of just uh-huh. going to the hotel or whatever. I say we get a lobster from the Carney store, from the Carney, uh, or whoever, wherever we can get a lobster, and we boil a lobster. Boil? That's how you're supposed to eat. That's how you're supposed to eat a lobster. You boil them. Oh, I don't know. You're supposed to boil them. I just know that you're supposed to cook them right away. Yep. Like you have like thirty minutes from when they die to when bad shit can happen because they're they're they have like ammonia or something in their blood or something mm. and as soon as they die it fills into the meat and that ammonia is what makes you sick if you don't if you it, it basically ruins the meat damn we'll have to just and buy frozen so, lobster and so then spe- and so there's a special way that it has to actually be prepared so that way that doesn't happen because if it's prepared incorrectly then the ammonia can actually seep into the meat, and it's it's ruined. You cannot get it out, and you will get very sick if you eat it. So what we're like, saying hospitalized here... Hospitalized type sick. So what we're saying is, we're going to have to get... Uh, we're what gonna we're have saying to... is that is if you want to boil lobster, I am not doing it with you if it's your first time. I prefer to have a professional who actually knows what they're doing. I think what we could do is we put the lobster, because, like, obviously we have to get it out to the campsite. So let's say we have an RV with us. We convert the sink into a fish tank. We transfer the lobster into the fish tank. Well, what we did at IV was we actually gave them this huge cardboard, uh, styrofoam container mm. that was, that we, uh, I, I forget exactly how it was done, because I only did it, like, once. No, I didn't do it. I, I rang it up. That's right. I was, I, was a, I was a cashier, and I rang it up, and, and I rang it up one time. And it was like this big styrofoam container, and I don't know how it was packaged in, but they had some special way of packaging it. So that way, because I mean, it doesn't have a whole lot of you know, oxygen in the water. You know, as soon as it uses up the oxygen, it, it dies, you know? Right. It's a small little container. There's no filter or whatever. But it's supposed to. It's supposed to last long enough for you to drive home and fire up the grill or, or however you prepare. It yeah. Whatever. So lobster, if I'm not mistaken, is basically you don't even have to kill it. You just put it in the no, water. You, you cook it right away. Well, you no. Yeah. Well, yeah. What you do is you don't even kill it. You just put it in the water. Turn it on. And then that, and it'll just die. And then it'll cook, as long as you're, you know, and it'll cook and die within there, and then you can go ahead and butcher it afterwards. Yeah, but I mean, what I'm saying, though, is I don't know if it, it sounds that easy, but I don't know if it is that easy. Oh, I, well, we'd have to do some research. And, and also, saying, we'd have to have an I RV. I to have a professional who knows what they're doing. Before I try and do it my first time. Let's put Kyle through culinary school. Yeah. He wants. To, he likes to cook. Let's put him through culinary school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Kyle, we're going to put you through two years of what is effectively abuse. Drain you of all your money just so you can cook us lobster. <laughs> mm-hmm. That way we don't die. Nah, we, we we could probably just buy like frozen lobster or whatever and just yeah steam it, call it good, just like the crab. Or you go to a restaurant and spend eighty bucks. Yee. Well, the uh, only place you get lobster anymore, like like actual like lobster lobster, not like mac and cheese or like lobster like fried bites or whatever is red lobster and there aren't any yeah, yeah. in lincoln anymore so you have to go up to uh omaha or somewhere else where is the nearest red is there one in omaha yeah there used to be the one in lincoln i've been to the one in lincoln but it's now closed so red although well i take that back i wonder well no I, it's closed but I don't know if that's the only place in Lincoln you can get lobster. I would suspect uh, there's this really f- the fanciest restaurant. Well, there, there is a pl- there's a place called Perfect Dinner. An Asian cafe. 
maybe. Well, there's a really fancy uh, place. There's a like the fanciest Bourbon thing in Link. Street. There's a place called Bourbon Street. Mm. If you type it in, they literally have a lobster. There's one uh, a picture of a lobster is one of the dishes. Okay. Well, there is also a uh, a really fancy restaurant. Like it's the fanciest, most expensive restaurant in town. And it, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it sold lobster. I don't think it does, but it wouldn't surprise me. You know, they serve really expensive sticks. Like your meal there, before drinks, we're talking like five hundred dollars. Yeah, there, there, there are red lobsters in Omaha. Yeah. But this this place here in Lincoln, they uh, they they're one of our customers. I don't remember. I don't remember the name though, but they, uh, no, no, not one of our customers. Take that back. No, sorry. Uh, our manager's husband works for like their, they have like a storefront where they sell really high quality meats and stuff. And, th and they also have like pre-made dishes. There's also then have this fancy restaurant side that serves really freaking expensive stuff. We're talking like, like, Hundreds. Oh, yeah. so, so this Bourbon Street, they have a large main freshwater lobster tail. Freshwater? I don't want fresh. I want salt water. Twenty-eight dollars. Twenty-eight. That yes, yeah, that's it's it's freshwater lobster. You don't want that. Plus, that's just the tail. No, no, no. I want I want salt water. Is it that much better? I don't know. More mercury. I don't know. <laughs> I'm asking. It's more mercury. You take your pick. We never did figure out where That's that cool. crab was from. I didn't realize that this uh, map's... Uh, you can see the menu. Oh, yeah. I was doing it at work the other day for something. What? I, yeah, yeah, we were. I was doing it at work the other day for something. I spent I a lot of time on Google Maps. I have a menu tab. Yeah. I I spend a lot of time on Google Maps now. Which is why, actually. Well, uh, see, they, they have this red lobster. They have main lobster tail. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's forty dollars. So I'm assuming that's salt water. Probably, or it's a bigger tail. But so what everything is everything is like forty dollars. Dude, fish is expensive. I don't know how all of Japan eats it and lives on that. It's so expensive. Well, it's probably expensive to br to haul it into Nebraska. That's true. But I imagine some little mom and pop shop, you know, right off the coast, it's fine next to nothing. It's probably like buying a hamburger. I I doubt that. Maybe not that cheap, but you know, there's a lot of you know, like a like a like a costs. cheap steak. What? Like a cheap steak. Yeah. You can no, get a steak a for twenty steak. bucks. Mm -hmm. Very very cheap steak, but well, actually, I, I should say, you can't. Back in the day, a twenty dollar steak was actually a pretty reasonable price. Uh, not anymore, I wouldn't say. Because inflation. But what? Crap! No, I had a whole thing. Ah, oh, damn it! I had a good talking point I wanted to bring up. Oh god, I gotta remember what it was. What topic? I, I'm trying to remember. I was gonna bring it up, and then you after interrupting about the Google. It's something to do with Google Maps, but it wasn't. Entirely Google Maps. I menu, can't. I don't know. No, no, no. It wasn't about the menus. No, no, no. It's about me spending a bunch of time on Google Maps. Oh, okay. I got it. I remember now. New mm -hmm. segment. I want a 3D. I want. Sorry, not a 3D. I want a 360 camera. A 360 camera. Mm-hmm. Like, cool. like I am almost so. Like I want one so bad. Like I'm almost willing to just. 
take my tax return, that 300 bucks, instead of spending it on things that I actually need or saving it, burn it on a 360 camera. Like, I, I'm almost like, I want one that bad. You can buy one for that? Uh, 299 on Amazon. So, I'll have to spend a bit more than the 300 But, yeah, 299 I want one really bad. It's just that the reason why I want it. Yeah, what is reason? I want it because I go on Google Maps all the time, right? And I see people posting like, you know, you can go and record a trail. Mm-hmm. Or you can go to like a middle of a field or whatever, take a panorama 360 or whatever, and then you can upload it to Google Maps. Mm. And I thought, wouldn't that be the coolest thing? To, like, upload, like, there's, like, all kinds of spots and so stuff. we can make our own toadstool version of Molin. We'll have, like, you know, my brother's head, like, on the ground, and our an arm sticking out of your truck. We'll see, we'll see the we'll 360 have, like, camera, rooms. we'll see the 360 camera will prevent that. No. Uh, because those are all done with smartphones, and then mm-hmm. as they're moving it along... Uh, they're they're not keeping it steady enough, or somebody moves, and I have seen some some crazy things because of that. And I I actually they do make mounts. However, I can't seem to find anything on Amazon. So th- there's there's no there's no the mounts are so stupid. So there's a twenty nine dollar mount that's four stars, and I'm like, but got like a thousand reviews, and I'm like, yee, it's a motorized three sixty mount. So basically, you put your camera, you put your smartphone there, set it to 360 mode or whatever, tell it to start the photo, you tell the mount to start taking the 360, and it'll start doing its spin. And you'll get a nice, steady, flat shot or whatever. However, uh, there's like the $29 one that uh, has like four stars, so it's like, ugh. And then everything else is like three hundred dollars, so it's like you might as well just buy a three sixty camera. Mm. Like, bruh, there's no in between. There was a, there is an in between, but it's used, and it's like I don't want to spend a hundred dollars on something used. It's like yeah. what? When all it literally does is spin. Now this one's got a bunch of settings and stuff to like different. So you can set it to, like, different angles or whatever. But it's like, what the hell? All I need is it to spin. It's a little servo mode. Like, why? Why the hell do these things cost so much goddamn money? There's, like, ones that hook up to your phone or whatever. And it's like, no, I I don't need that. I just want to take a 360. It's like, I don't need that. I don't want that. But it's really easy because uh, Google, I was in the Google Street View app on my phone and there's literally a button that says take a photo or connect 360 camera and i know insta 360 which is the company that makes basically all 360 cameras uh at least any ones that you're gonna what that are worth your bot time buying uh they're they connect to your phone that's like one of the ways you can use them but like it did be perfect i can we could just go wherever whenever and take these photos Okay. What? Yeah, continue. I don't have an Epic Games. Why the heck am I receiving an Epic Games? Oh, you know what? I do have an Epic Games account. I forgot about this. But I don't really want to click this. Don't click it. Yeah. It's like, I'm pretty sure I have an Epic Games account, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Because I have I had Fortnite on my uh, Switch long, long time ago. Played it, like, a whole of, like, four times. Back when it was big and popular? Yeah, back in college. But, like, I've deleted it since then, so it's like, I'm not too concerned. It's like, we need a force password reset. I'm like, can't you just do that yourself? Like, you don't need me to do that. And, and you just, like, basically lock the account up, so. Anyways. Um, 
What was I going to say? Right, so yeah. What do you think? Is it worth getting... Like, I I think it'd be really cool to get a 360 camera, but she's like, I don't... I, I kind of want to just put money away right now rather than burn it. And also, I need to get new polos and finish the stupid what? projects that I have been working on. Finish what? The projects that I have been working on. Projects? Like the, the ping pong ball cannon. Oh. The stupid vacuum chamber video that... Pfft, you we were supposed to work on on a weekend. We we're supposed to go to Walmart and find things to put in it. Oh yeah. But we never did. Yeah, I haven't been over in a while. Uh, I blame school. I think the last time we talked about that was before school. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. And then school started, and it was like, oh yeah. Um, no, but anyways, uh, don't worry. School school will be over, I believe, May fourth or fifth. Wait, I'm trying to remember. So May fourth is my is my I, I have so I have an exam. Uh, Friday, and then he said we have our third exam, May fourth. So. Uh, that's over the next unit. But I'm not sure if that's our final. I, because I thought that was the end of the semester, too. And so, because I know, you know, sometimes they'll make, you know, the final just be, you know, the last unit versus comprehensive. Maybe I have it written down. Do you? Anyways, that, that first week of May. I'll just be, I'll have all this time. Well, I mean, the real question is, what are you doing Saturday? I mean, not Saturday, Friday night. I mean, their test is Friday, so like Friday night. Oh, homework. Oh, starting for the next time? Well, no, finishing up current homework. Oh. <laughs> because homework isn't due until Monday. Ah. And it's, uh... I wasn't I'm sure if... I, I'm slowly getting through it, but, uh... Yeah, there's quite a bit. Hmm. Well, it seems like they give you guys, cause, like, Jesus, I mean, maybe it's not well, a I lot. I have it written down, May 5th is the last day, so I must, so our exam on May 4th must just be uh, a union exam, which will be nice. Oh, so what kind of homework do they give, because it seems like, is there more than last time, or is it the same amount you were just lazier last time? Um... No, I feel like there's probably about the same amount. Mm. Well, gee, it, maybe it's just because maybe it's because you're working full time. It seems like because it seems like there's a lot of homework. It's like you're working on it every single night, and you're still not able to finish it. Well, you have to remember, last semester I also didn't do like half of, the last half of it. Well, yeah, but I'm just like comparing it to college, like back in school. Oh, oh, I thought you were comparing it to last semester. No, no, no. Oh no no yeah there is there is a lot more homework than than when I was in you uh, in school. That's weird. When I when I was in school there was like one assignment a week. Yeah, there was like one assignment a week, and it'd be one assignment that would cover like all the units. Or whatever. So it's like high school. And so the thing is, is that this is, yeah this is exactly like high school where there's an assignment every single night. I hate that. And the big difference I think is that. Uh, this doing all the homework is like doing is like as much practice as you'll need mm. in college that was it was like okay these are the main things the 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 test will be over know these very well meaning that this homework assignment probably is not sufficient enough for your learning right and that's what they told us so in UNL they gave us you know a bare minimum amount of homework but they told us this is not sufficient enough for your learning if you desire an A. Hmm. Because they said it, in my they said in their experience they believed kids needed much more practice. And I, I agree, yeah. But hmm. it, it's more manageable when it when there's not a lot, but at the same time you definitely need the practice. So that sucks. 
That's what I always kind of I, I always kind of wondered about that. Like SEC and like community colleges, they're set up a lot like high school. So you have like if you were taking it full time, you'd take like five like five or six classes a day. Your whole day is work is class. It, it's just like high school. It's not like university where it's like yeah, three, maybe four classes at max in what like for three days of the week or maybe two days of the week usually. And then the other three days of the week are like two or three different other classes. Well, I mean, I don't know if you have to take five. I think because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're probably three credit hour classes, so you could only take four and be full time. Oh. And this might actually, and since this is a lab, this might actually be like a four credit hour class. Ah. Well, then maybe, well, I don't know. I've just heard from people that went to SEC. Oh, I, maybe. I, I, no, U, UNL, their labs were like four or five credit hour classes. Maybe that's your first year where you have to take all the math and English and that kind of crap. Your basics. The, you know, the yeah. the rounding you out crap. History. And it sounds just like another. Huh? Or what are you talking about? What are you uh, talking about? Uh, yeah, SEC. Well, the thing with SEC is that uh, depending on your major, you cannot take math or science. So uh, they, depending on your major, UNL does not like to accept those credits. Well, no, I'm talking like people that go to SEC full time. That's what they're gonna do. That they're gonna get an associate's degree. And they're gonna call it good. Oh. They go there, and I just, I swear, like their first semester, or first year, sounds like high school again. Because they've got all these, like, you're not doing anything towards your major. It's all these, you know, uh, elective, not electives, uh, primary well, course my crap. First year was at UNL. Well, yeah, but, like, I took but like it was, like, one I took, like, one engineering course. But it was, and it, it was, like, survey engineering where they just talk about all the different fields. I wasn't doing anything civil engineering related. I was just learning about all the different fields of engineering. Right, but like no, it, I was taking all these ace courses. Right, well, no, but like they were taking eight hours of classes a day, though. It wasn't like UNL where it's like four, at the most, hours of class. Oh, uh, maybe it was more than that, but it was like five eight or hours. six. What? What? They what were yeah. It takes eight hours. They they had like a they're like for the way it sounded like it was like eight hours a day. That's forty hours. No one's taking forty credit hours. I don't know. Somehow there it was. I don't know. Their schedule was eight hours of classes. I don't know. It sounded just like high school, pretty much. I I didn't understand it. But again, this was years ago. I don't remember entirely. I don't remember who I was talking to. Neither do I. I don't understand at all. What I said it doesn't make sense from what you're telling me, but at the same time, SEC it does just it sounds more like high school because there's more coursework, there's more, there's you take more class hours than you do at the university, mm -hmm. and you pay a fraction of the amount. <laughs> yeah, you get a pretty good deal. Well, except for all the extra hard. Except for all the crap. It's like, oh, yeah, make sure you got to take all this, you know, extra junk. and You got you to gotta do all this extra work and stuff. And it's just like, ooh. Oh. I'm just kind of there for the experience. Not there for the homework. Mm -hmm. Although I feel like you're there for the homework. Well, I need the practice. How the hell did we get... Oh, right, right, because we were trying to figure out, but how do we get from 360 camera to that? Well, you wanted to talk about, you know, the vacuum lab and all that, and I was talking about my labs. I was talking about when I'm done with school. Mm. Right. And I was talking about my last exam. I need to plan out more projects, more videos. I've got this geography video idea that I'm working on. Uh, I wrote like an intro skit. I wrote the script for it, and I like got stuff ready one night, but then lost motivation after completing the script because like ten thirty. I'm like, nah, I'm going to bed. Uh, 
and then I haven't worked on it since, but I might work on it Friday. Thing is, I can only work on it at night, which is really annoying. Because uh, I need to use a green screen type thing, and, well, the only place I can really hang that up is in front of my patio door, so it needs to be dark <laughs> outside, so it doesn't come through, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, uh, so you ever heard the song Oceanfront Property in Arizona by George Strait? Maybe. I'm sure you, I'm sure you have, because I'm sure I've played I'm it for sure you. I'm sure I have. Well, anyways... So kind of the whole spiel about the song is like there isn't actually oceanfront property in Arizona. It's a desert, you know, it's kind of a play. Well, it's kind of a ruse. And my whole thought was like, well, actually, Arizona is like really close to the ocean. Like if your definition of oceanfront property is you can see the ocean, is it possible to build a structure tall enough to see the ocean? Well, let's see. So here's the border. Yes, you can. I calculated it. You calculated how tall it have to be? Yep. How tall? Like less than the Burj Khalifa. Like a thousand oh. feet. Now, now, what I don't... Under, now, the formula I found... So let me read you the formula. The formula I found, I didn't bother to read much further into it. It doesn't specify whether this is the radius or whether this is the diameter of how far you can see. It would make more sense if this is the diameter, less about the uh, radius. So it says, uh, the formula for determining how many miles an individual can see at, a, at higher levels is the square root of his altitude times 1.25. I don't know what that means. I don't know how that's derived, but okay. I don't know either. I didn't bother to look at it, but I was just like, whatever. I'll just use this. And yeah, uh, not a thousand feet. It's because like the shortest distance you can get on there is like, like 40, 50 miles. But like I had to do like, but then the thing is though, there's mountains in the way. Yeah. And so it's like, you gotta be able to see over these mountains. So you have to like find a spot and like figure out kind of where the ocean begins and ends. And like, you could do it. You have to be able to see like 50 miles. But like, if you built the Burj yeah. Khalifa on the border of Arizona and Mexico, you could have oceanfront property in Arizona. Of course, it's only. I guess, let me type that in. Let me search that. I never actually searched a question like that. I did it at work. How far? But see, so I don't know. Thirty-nine miles seems like a long ways for only a thousand feet. But apparently, from the Burj Khalifa, you can see sixty miles. So yeah. Well, then the the if then built, if you built the Burj Khalifa, you could see it. There you go, contractors, people out there. Well, hell, you know, no, you... it's not accounting for mountains or anything or difference in elevation. Right. Which may be a concern. Luckily, though, I was it was there. There is a spot where it kind of just goes over desert, and so I didn't go on Google Earth to like look at elevation changes. But I'm pretty sure if you, it's, you're going to have to look in like a specific direction from a specific spot. I think you could do it. And also we're building, we're going to build buildings that are a kilometer tall now. So like even taller than the Burj Khalifa, more than 2,700 feet or whatever. Mm -hmm. So contractors, people out there. You want oceanfront property? You want to be able to see the ocean from Arizona. Build the Burj Khalifa or the uh, uh, Jeddah Tower, which is going to be a building that's supposed to be a kilometer and like one meter tall. You know what? People like to build these giant structures in the desert. I mean, they're doing it in freaking Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, those places like that. So, quit, you know, why not build it in Arizona? Don't know. 
So yeah, I was gonna make a little video about that. Mm -hmm. Gonna be a fun. Gonna be fun. I. Uh... Wow, I'm getting all kinds of scammers today. Just got a message from UPS telling me to hold on to my that they're putting a hold on my package because it's incorrect address. Delete that. Fun, 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 fun. I uh, I also, but I really don't think the Epic Games one was actually fake. But the link looks sketchy, so I'm not gonna worry. About, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyways. Uh, gee, we're only 30 minutes in. We've talked about three different things. 360 cameras and my geography video. But no, I need to come up with some other ideas for projects. We'll just keep on this project thing. That's kind of where I'm at. So like, I've still got... I'm trying to think of videos that are going to go up still. So like, there's the rocket video. There's the... Uh, can't think of it i spent a bunch of time on it i've been worrying about it but i can't think of what it is oh well i can't remember it now doesn't really matter at this point uh but i need to uh come up with more ideas do you have any video ideas yeah well, I just put one on the thing, didn't I? On the, the, the idea list. Let's go to the Google Docs, Google Docs, Google Docs. I remember I put one on there. I don't remember what it was. Uh, future video ideas. Very bottom. Thought, oh, the frozen. Okay. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That oh, we can't. Yeah, the, fro the, the, the movie thing. Yeah, that's not till the summer. So we need something between now and then. Mm -hmm. I still need to make black powder again. That one's easy. I have all the supplies for it. I Well, I, I just need to find a pot that I'm okay with ruining. So I'd have to go to Goodwill. I'll also have to, like, do it at my parents' or at your parents'. Can't do it here. Something about making flammable chemicals on my rented apartment doesn't sound like a uh, good time. I mean, mm -hmm. I have no problems with it. Man, for, that, that, that idea's been on there freaking forever. Uh... Oh, we already... Oh, Will was supposed to do a moldy bread experiment. Instead, I did it. Oh, really? Yeah. Why was he supposed to do one? I think I had the idea where, like, each one of us writes and comes up with a video idea or whatever. And each one of us does a video. Oh, and he wanted to do it, too? Uh, He wanted to do a moldy bread experiment video. Uh obviously that's i well it has kyle on there uh for a i wanted him to write a short film and he never did do you still have the cheese out there yeah good good because i haven't been there in a while to see the cheese it's not on the the blocks but it's just there i have no idea what's what anymore they're all the same orange <laughs> oh are they really yeah i don't know what's what so the, the plastic one is, is not recognizable anymore? No, I mean, maybe if I looked at them and like looked for similarities, because I, I stared at these things for three months taking photos, so maybe I could find, you know, based off of that, but it's also been like three months since then, so. Mm -hmm. They're just hard orange things. Rolled up orange things, so. I'm curious to see what the summer will do with all the heat. As long as they don't blow away in a tornado, they should be fine. Yeah. So we'll see what the next few months bring uh, when it gets windy. My favorite time of year, kids. 
storm season. No, but I gotta come oh. up with I gotta come up with ideas, projects, things that are also things that aren't like I had all these building ideas. Oh, that's right. I still have all these stupid things I want to build. And oh yeah, I've got an unboxing video I want to upload. That won't be the next one, even though I recorded that thing back in like January. It will not be the next video. The next video will, in fact, be the rocket video. I think. Pretty sure. Because I, I think I said in the unboxing video, the next video would be uh, doing this some building stuff. And again, I still have the supplies to do it. I just need to do it one weekend. And maybe that's, maybe that's what I should do this weekend. Maybe I should finally build the stand for my sander. Oh, but then I gotta get clamps from Menards. Oh, man. Right angle clamps. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. There's lots of things that need to be done between now and then. There's that video, but you know, uh, I'm slowly falling, but I'm slowly like getting to the point where it's like I work on a video, I spend the month on it, and then it needs to go up. So it's like, I don't like that. I like having more time to work on a video. Not more time, but like having uh, a bigger buffer than that. So I need to start cranking out more videos. So, mm -hmm. ideas, ideas. So, apart from the fruit one, anything we could do between now and then? Nope, nothing. That hurts. It hurts. Man, we need, we need to come up with some ideas. Do a brainstorming session at some point. Nothing, mm -hmm. no experiments you want to do that you want to see what... Other than the fruit. No. Oh, the salt in the earth video. I got to work on that at some point. Mm -hmm. That one's going to be tough. And I'll have a lot of room to do that one. I would like to have multiple seeds per multiple percentages, but uh, we might not be able to go that scientific. Maybe that's what we'll do. Kids, here's what we're going to do for the salt in the earth video is we'll just do like preliminary cups like so it's just one seed per percentage or whatever and then we'll go from there i would like to do more that's obviously more scientific but that could be a follow-up video where we do more in-depth scientific analyzation of this of salting the earth so that way that way we can also potentially do uh Uh, like a monocot as well in this experiment because like trying to do a dicot and a monocot it's just like there's so many different things we have to test so it's like I'd rather it just you know so I think I'd have to I'm gonna have to look up at like what point do things not want to grow anymore and then we take that and we like so then we ca I have to calculate everything out because I'm sure it'll be in like parts per pound of soil or whatever. Something stupid. And then we'll just have to figure all that gram out. I'll have to get a new scale. I forgot. Crap. My scale's dead. Uh, don't get aluminum powder in your scale, kids. Your digital scale. It will break. <laughs> I've only used it a handful of times and it's dead. Because the last time I used it was windy and I was dumping aluminum powder everywhere and I'm pretty sure some of it got inside. Mm. Which is sad. I mean, it's a, it's a freaking kitchen scale. It don't cost very much. So. That's, I forgot about that video. So that's a video. Uh, but that video will take a whole month to do. Because we're waiting for plants to grow. And dicots take... Not dicots. Monocots take time, so... Uh, well, that, well, actually, that'll be fine, because... April's video... 
Like, we still gotta do the vacuum chamber video, we still gotta do the, the ping pong ball cannon. And honestly, the ping pong ball cannon itself might get split into, like, two videos. Well, yeah, it'll probably almost get split into two videos. Because, like, the first video might just be me trying to get it to work. And then once it works, like, not even, like, supersonic. Just, like, trying to get it to work consistently. And talking about all the woes and, like, why it wasn't working. And then we go into a second video where I talk about... So then the second video, we actually get it to go mock. And in that video, we also then kind of show, like, it destroying things at mock. Instead of sub mock. So, there's that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a cool, that's a collection of videos. That's like almost to the end of the year. That's like not almost to the end of the year, but like that'll get us through a good portion of the year. So it's like we're, we're set on video ideas to like probably till at least October, because like April will be rocket. And then May will be uh, the unboxing. And then I can build the base for the sander in June. The June can be the base for the sander. Uh, we will skip building the frame for the stupid uh, element cubes. We, we, we'll, 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 I'll build that eventually. It just, I have to build up funds. So then... Uh, we'll have salt in the earth. Then we'll have your fruit video. So, April, May, June, July, August. We're up to August now. And, oh, duh. And obviously, I'm skipping the vacuum chamber video. We're also the, the sub mock ping pong ball. That's seven months. That's seven months of ideas right there. So seven months from now, so uh, four plus seven equals eleven. We have we have videos till November. None of them have been made. Uh, they're just ideas. So we have at least seven ideas, some of which have been already recorded. Those we have them all the way till November. So that's good. We we've made progress. You didn't add much to this. But I've, I've come up with video ideas. So thank you. Hello? Yeah, I heard you. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I kind of went, we're ending the podcast a little short today. I do want to have one more thing. Uh, we're ending the podcast a little short today because Mercury is at like its furthest point from the it's like furthest point from the sun relative to us. Basically what that means is in the sky. Like tomorrow it will start going closer to the sun. So, I want to go out and see it. And so sun sets at 8, so it's like it's not the end of the world, but like also I think I need to eat more. I've been starving today. I don't know why. I've been hungry like all day. Like I ate like, all morning, I was just hungry, 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 hungry. I even ate breakfast. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Ate lunch. A few hours later, I'm starving. Like, I, I get home, I'm starving. And I'm still hungry. And I don't know why. I haven't... I'm not eating anything more than I had been before. I'm just hungry. Anything more or anything less. Same. I even actually had a bigger breakfast today because I had a bigger glass of milk than normal. Once in a while, I like to give myself a bigger glass of milk just because I don't know, feel like it. And it's, I don't know. Who knows? So, anyways. Uh, what was I going to mention? There was something I was going to mention. Something ludicrous and stupid. Oh, right. Uh, in line with the YouTube thing. We're still talking about YouTube videos. So now we're talking on to the gaming channel. Kind of a weird thing. We don't up. I don't upload videos there. I just do live streams because I kind of. It's nice because like uploading a science video or a project video once per month, as nice and like stress like, not very stressful as that is, and like gives me time to work on projects at my own pace, 
and like really flesh out what the hell's going on in these things and i don't know make somewhat higher quality videos have you watched any of my no you haven't of course you haven't you haven't seen any of my latest videos because you haven't been on youtube yeah please watch one of my my latest video i don't oh the steak video okay don't watch that one but you've seen the one before that which is the ultron video so never mind the next video you'll have to watch so that'll be closer to may when you're done with school anyways uh no i uh Oh my god, the candle video! I forgot! I still want to do the damn candle video. Maybe that's where I'll do this weekend. Look at that! I have video ideas all the way to the end of the year. Nice. Woohoo! I still forgot about the stupid candle video. <laughs> this thing's huge. <laughs> I still have this giant ball of wax here. Because I keep getting cheese when I go to Walmart. I shouldn't do that, but I do. Uh, you know, spend 80 cents each. So, you know, $1.60. And, uh, you know, I throw it behind me. Anyways, yeah, I still gotta do that candle video. No, but, uh, no, but the gaming channel, right? I just go and stream because, you know, uploading a video once per month, I, I, I just don't feel like I can connect with the viewers as that much. I can't talk with them. You know, back when I was doing videos... I mean, we're still doing podcasts weekly, but nobody d comments on them, so it's like I can't talk with the viewers. Uh, but what's nice about the stream is it's like I can talk to them. Like I stream, it's real time. I can talk with them, you know, tell them what's going on. They can tell me what's going on. And, you know, it's just be playing Minecraft. But what the crazy part is, it's not about, like, you know, the, the, uh, the cathartic, you know, playing video game or whatever. The cathartic necessity to play video games. It's the uh, the views. So the, the the like peak views is like three views on the last one. Okay, that's not, that's not crazy, right? Peak concurrent viewers, but like over, but like overall, it had like twenty views by the by the time it went up. So you know that's not a lot. However. It's now been two days, and the video has now have a collective of 123 views. Actually, I bet it's gone up since we started doing the podcast. So we'll just check on that. It'll be the 131 views. This latest stream is on track to be one of the most popular videos on the gaming channel. It's an hour and a half long. It's not even that good of a stream, which is why we haven't gained any subscribers from it. Because it's not even that good of a stream. Because there was, like, nobody on there for, like, the first half hour talking to me. There was a viewer, but, like, no one was talking to me. And there was a good point. There's also a large portion which nobody was talking to me. So I'm just, like, trying to, like, make content, focus on what I'm building, and, like, also talk. And it's just, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, and then the previous stream had 115 views. Like, what? Like what? Like if we can look at all the streams here that we've done since the since I killed the channel, so in the last uh, month or so, first one eighty views, and I thought that was crazy. Next one forty nine. Next one thirty two. It was on this decline. Now it jumped up to one fifteen, one thirty one. What gives? Why? Why the all of a sudden start people start watching? I don't know. So I, I, I'm still not going to post regular gaming content to the gaming channel. It's just streams. Whenever I feel like it, there'll probably definitely be a stream this week. Uh, won't be today because obviously I'm going to go look at Mercury. It will not be tomorrow. I have to edit this tomorrow. It could be Thursday. It could be Thursday. Uh, I've kind of got. I I get off late Thursday. Uh, actually, I got a long day Thursday. I'm getting my hair cut in the morning since I have to close at work. So I have to be on the road at like 7.25, 7.30. So, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't have to be at work till 9.15. And so usually I like to sleep in till 7.30. No. It's going to be on the freaking road. At that time. So I can drive all the way north. Get my hair cut. 
screw around for a bit because it's like it only takes about 40 minutes to get back to get into town and like the haircut only takes about 15 20 minutes at the most so it's and i and she wants me there at like 9 15 so it's like i've got this buffer time in there so it's like and then i have friday off so i'm gonna do whatever i want with that and it's gonna be stormy so it's like I don't even know if I can really work on uh, cutting, uh, work on that that sand table anyways. Cause it's going to be raining outside. I can do the candle video. Just go buy some tea light candles at Walmart. Uh, be super easy. Actually, that's probably what I'll do. Because those are, that's, that's just a fun, stupid video. Me making a candle. From cheese wax. So, that's probably what I'll do. Along with maybe stream. I'm going to work on YouTube videos. I, I told my manager I'd be relaxing, and I definitely will be. Uh, but I definitely want to be working the weekend, like doing things. I'm actually debating because they need a volunteer for for uh, Saturday night. Not at the observatory, but at Moral Hall. And I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to be like, yeah, sure, I'll go do it. But it's like... I could have a movie night at home or I could work on the oceanfront property video or I could do a variety of video things or do nothing what do you think what should I do Saturday night should I go volunteer or should I stay home potentially do nothing at all or potentially be working on YouTube videos what do you think or there's always the book I need to get back into working on the book hello yeah, yeah, I hear you. What do you think I should do? No idea. I have to think about it. Oh, you have to think about it? Yeah. Nothing right off the bat that's like, you know what, I would do that. Nope. Nothing? Or were you even listening? Hmm? Or were you even listening? I was listening. Okay. Well, anyways... Very interesting podcast. We're at the hour. Uh, I would like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New podcast every Friday, uh, 11 p.m., 12 p.m. Central Time. And uh, good night. <laughs>